Okay, so this is a very quick demonstration of how to do a screencast using Elector Live. First, you go to this website called screenrecordings.com and you download the program by clicking on Get It Free. You'll see it's about 15 megabytes in size and it will download to your downloads folder usually. If you click on that little option, I'm currently using Chrome, you will show in folder and it will um, it will be there and you just double click on it and install it. Very simple. I guess you can probably right click on that get on that link and say um, save link as and then you can choose where you'd like to um, download it to, like to your desktop maybe, that might be easier, which it will then do. Once you've installed it, just restart your computer to make sure that the installation has installed properly. Once it's installed, you can start using it to do screencasts, quite simply. So, the first thing you do is you double click on the icon that's been installed. I've also added the, um, the program to my quick launch bar at the bottom here, as you can see, by simply dragging it and adding it in here. And, right, so if you open it up, you'll see this little box will open up, and uh, you just click on New. And then you need to make sure that you've got a few things selected. For example, you need to select full screen recording. That's the easiest and simplest way to record your entire screen. There are other options like having only your webcam or a specific area, or you can do both uh, your full screen and a webcam of yourself where you're in the corner in a little screen and you can do that over here and you can look through these settings. Um, if you'd like to do that, then you also need to make sure that you are, have selected the record audio section. Um, what I usually do is I record both the microphone and the system sounds, so that if I'm playing a video, it's gonna, it records that as well. Um, but you have various options here. Okay, once you've selected these things, in future when the program opens up, it will remain as such. Okay, so once you've selected your options, you click on these three little dots, and that gives you the option to name your recording. So let's, whatever you can name it, usually the name of your presentation. Presentation. And once it's named, you simply say save. And then OK. Now, before you click start, you need to open up your PowerPoint presentation. OK? Your PowerPoint presentation um, needs to be generally in this format, ready to rec ready to to go, um, and you need to make sure that you open it up as a full slideshow. Do not open it up as a slideshow with the notes. Um, it needs to look exactly the way that your audience will see it because it's it's recording the entire screen. Okay, so when you're ready to to present, um, you simply click on this little button in the in the corner here, and you open up your recorder and you click start. Now I'm not going to click start because I'm already recording something with uh, Elector Live so that won't work. You click start and what you'll notice is um, numbers coming up in the middle of the screen. Five, four, three, two, one and that's fine um, and that's just telling you how much time you have left before it begins recording. Now once it starts recording you simply click on F5 which is going to open up your PowerPoint presentation, or it's gonna it's gonna make it go live. Uh, I'm just gonna do that quickly. F5, and there you'll see it is now uh, a live presentation, and um, it's exactly the way the audience would see it. And as you go through the presentation, you can talk to the slides. And um, this is a presentation a colleague and I did recently. And it will record the slides that are on the screen as well as your voice. Okay, once you're done presenting, you simply click Escape. And then you go down here again to this little button. And you go to the one that's currently recording. The way you see that, you can open the program multiple times. But you can see the one I'm currently recording is that one. It's showing me how much time I've been recording. And I'll show you what that looks like. You can see there, 4 minutes and 42 seconds. And I can click Pause or Stop. Um, when you click stop, it will process the video and it will save it usually to your desktop, wherever you decided you wanted to save it to. 
just let me show you that quickly I don't think I did that earlier when you click on new you can choose where you want to save it by clicking on those three options if I want to save it on my desktop I just click on desktop and put in the name of the presentation so it's quite simple uh, really to record using Elector Live and it works great for lectures for workshops for presentations for conference presentations and um, it outputs your file as an AVI which is quite a big file so it's um, about hmm, an hour's presentation is about a gig's worth of space so you need to make sure that you have enough space on your laptop when you are recording but once you upload it to YouTube or if you um, it will be compressed or if you use Format Factory you'll be able to compress it as well um, or if you use um, Windows Movie Maker to edit it which I demonstrate in another video um, it will also compress it so but it, the reason it outputs it as an AVI is because it's it's a big file that needs to it needs to gather a lot of a rich data a video and audio data and uh, so it's good that it's a big file it means that it's high quality <laughs> so that's the very simple way of screen recording your lectures or presentations using Elector Live I trust that yeah it will add value to your life and that you'll make many many presentations they will add value to the lives of many others